are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So I did want to cover this real fast. Um, I don't know why JP decided to do this, but they did not release the celebration info at the normal time yesterday, which would have been 11 a.m. my time on the 17th, would have been the normal time that we get celebration info. Instead, they dropped it literally as Majin Vegeta's banner release. Definitely um, a very, very bizarre uh, sort of like decision there, right? Because Global got their celebration info at the normal time, so I don't really understand that. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look here. We'll, you know, see if there's anything different from the global celebration, which there is. There's some differences. Um, and I could give some preliminary thoughts after a day of using Majin Vegeta and stuff like that. Um, I, there's a lot of discussion about Majin Vegeta potentially being not even that great and stuff like that. Um, I do think he's a character that potentially could struggle a lot at 55%, but I do think he is phenomenal. Um, easily one of the best units in the game. Easily one of the, uh, top, uh, like TURs in the game. I think I think he's really an exceptional unit. Um stats are just important for him, like Great Vegeta, right? Um all right, so we have missions, login and stuff like that. Nothing really too crazy. Um we have the Dokkan Fest banner for uh you know Majin Vegeta. The banner's pretty solid. I do think doing some summons on it will not hurt. Um there's a lot of good units, a lot of characters that can help you in the red zone, right? LR Tech Ogita can work really well in the red zone. Majin Vegeta, I think, should be really quite good in the red zone. Um, Int Broly is good in there. Trunks and Goten potentially could be very powerful as well. So you have a lot of different characters that could definitely help. Um, we have the Elder Kai banner right there, which is good. I always love summoning on these, so I don't have to grind up units SA anymore. <laughs> oh, we got a sale. Uh, the Majin Vegeta Dokkan event gets a new stage added to it. Um, and we also have... Okay, so this is interesting. I, I probably should take a couple seconds to talk about this. Um, I did just sort of gloss over, oh, whoops, um, uh, Majin Vegeta right here again. I I've talked about him a lot. Very good. His damage is not really impressive by today's TUR standards whatsoever. His damage is very mid compared to, I think, the other top tier TURs. Trunks is, I fe feel like most of the time, probably shitting on Vegeta in terms of damage. Super Saiyan 3, Goku is, Kid Buu is, um, you know, it's just, damage is not Vegeta's strong suit. I view Vegeta completely and entirely as a defensive unit. Um, I don't know that I would even really use this character without a Trunks on the team to give him the extra damage reduction. That's a really huge thing um, for this Vegeta, right? Um, great leader skill, of course, though. All right, so we get rid of that. Um, we'll talk about him in a second. Uh, I don't... Uh, uh, not really too much to talk about here. I, I feel like they'll be okay, um, but they certainly could be better. Um Right, like, it's like, I feel like everything they do is fine if they also got Majin Buu Saga, um, 3 key and 40% attack and defense. Bam! I think that would be perfect, right? Because that completely differentiates them from the Dokkan Fest version that's on Movie Heroes. Then this character becomes a character you run on Buu Saga, so it makes sense. It's like they literally, that, it's like that was their idea, and then they just forgot to give them the support, basically. It's weird. Speaking of something they forgot to do. Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. Very interesting unit. So over here on um, JP, they're about to get a new stage added to the, you know, faded bloodline, easy area, whatever you want to call it, where, you know, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, Goku and Chi-Chi, and Vegeta and Bulma already are getting their easy A's. Um, the thing about Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr., their stats are actually incorrect. So I can pull this up real fast. Um, they, they mentioned this in-game that they're going to rectify this and do a fix. Currently, Vegeta Jr. and Goku Jr. People have told me this is only on JP, by the way. On Global, apparently, they have the correct stats, right? Which is the 5,000 um, across the board, essentially, to their hidden potential. Um, so they're going to fix this on JP. So basically, Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. are going to get about 2,000 to each stat, um, which will help them out quite a bit. Uh, the jump to over 12,000 defense and, you know, up to 17,000 attack is really, really going to help this unit. Um, I don't think that makes them, like, super good or anything like that, but it certainly is going to make them a lot better. Um, this essentially is going to become, like, an actual, like, TUR EZA, right? Where the, the unit ends up getting stats as well as the EZA. But it's just because I don't know why it took them this long to notice that their potential system is over two weeks 
to notice that their potential system is messed up, but whatever. Um, so this unit is going to be a lot better once that fix comes in for JP. I assume this unit will be fixed next week um, for the data download, because uh, I believe Super Battle World stages drop on the 23rd. We'll check in a second, but I believe the Super Battle World stages drop right here. So I think that's probably when the this unit will be fixed is the next data download. Um, and we'll see how impressive they can look, you know, on the monstrous GT hero team um, after those changes and stuff like that. Um, all right, so we have that right there. Um, next, we have the EZA. This is a bajillion months later. Uh, JP finally gets this. Let's see. when it, Wow, Global got in October. It's been so long. So JP gets these characters. This guy is just DOA, dead on arrival. Um, we have LR Grade 8 Vegeta now. He is going to be the actual unit right there um, who you're going to want to run over this guy. The only thing about this guy is he really does trigger me because he's got big bad bosses and they felt like it was a good idea not to give the LR version big bad bosses. Hello. I feel like there could be some niche situations where this guy could help. Certainly in like giant form, extreme super battle road. I do think this guy can be, you know, very impressive, right? You know, th there's a couple of stages where you definitely could get some use out of him. But for the most part, I don't think that this uh, grade eight Vegeta um, is really anything too um, impressive. Um, Raditz potentially could be solid. I, I think the issue for Raditz, because Raditz does link pretty well with the Great Ape Vegeta. Um, but the problem is that Great Ape Vegeta is a character that struggles for key. And then we have Raditz here, who's a character that wants key spheres. So these two units are at odds with each other in terms of forming a rotation. So that's a little bit, um, unfortunate there. I do think Raditz can be okay. Um, nothing really too crazy. Gonna be nice to get another buff for the low-class warrior team, though, which is absolute fodder, and then just uh, terrible, 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 terrible. I was just gonna get rid of that. Um, Kid Goku will have some value with his defensive stacking. I don't really know I could say too much more about him besides that. Um, but the defensive stacking always can be helpful, for sure. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Um, they're adding a new support memory to the uh, this story event right here, which is going to buff Kuroda Body and Mind characters. You know, so that, of course, will be um, interesting. Um, so, you know, go ahead and get that. I do like the support memories. I like getting the new animations added into the game. Always very fun. Um, this story event is going up until April. Um, you know, so people have time to grind this character. And then these other 7th anniversary story events, these three right here, will be up. And then the other Boo Saga events. Um, there's an infant Dragon Ball history stage uh, against uh, Grade 8 Power. Uh, you want to use Grade 8 Power and Giant Form. On JP, this is a joke with all the huge buffs they've gotten, like the, L the LR Super Saiyan 4 EZAs, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, um, and then, of course, uh, you know, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Grade 8 Vegeta. Just such crazy buffs for, like, the type of characters they want you to use for this event, right? On JP, it's going to be an absolute utter joke. Um, we have weekend missions right here. These, of course, are always very nice to get. Um, a lot of stones and stuff like that can be obtained. Um, AGL Evolution Blue Vegeta is getting his EZA. He is weak to uh, STR Super Vegeta's category team. Attained Evolution or Mastered Evolution, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, that's where AGL Blue Vegeta is going to be weak to. I think this guy is one of my favorite units in the game. This guy is going to be incredible. Um, he's a character who will work, I think, pretty well as the pure Saiyan leader. Um, I, honestly, I look at this guy, and that's, like, one of the most important things. I think nowadays, um, I don't really want to run teams unless they have a full 200% leader skill across the board, right? That's when I want to, like, actually run these teams. Or, excuse me, um, I don't want to run teams unless it's at least the full 170% across the board. Obviously, 200% is ideal, but I think 170 is what you really want to aim for. The pure Saiyan team, under a full 170% lead, is going to be very strong, very powerful. Um, this Vegeta should work reasonably well as a leader, too, with Royal Lineage, Turn of Power, and Prepared for Battle, so that's going to be pretty good. This guy defensively is very strong. He has the potential to quadruple super attack. In Evolution Blue, v Blue, he is able to build up crits as well as, you know, get a lot of defense as well. Um, overall, I'd say the character is just very powerful. I think he's fantastic. Um, this, I think, for a lot of players, is going to be sort of the crown jewel um, of 2022 Saiyan Day. I feel like this guy is going to be so, so big. Um, all right, so... 
We have a new stage um, being added to Super Battle Road. Who knows what it'll be? Uh, terrifying Conquer or something like that. Um, and then we have another new stage being added to Extreme Super Battle Road as well. So JP's getting one of each. Um, they made a notice here. So Extreme Super Battle Road. So they plan to add, uh, typically it looks like one stage. Um, there's going to be Awakening Medals to EZA characters. Um, and then other rewards and, you know, equips and stuff like that. Uh, w no way to tell, I think, what the next, um, uh, oh, yeah, here's the Great Apes Easy, which are weak to Great Ape Power, by the way. Another category, it's gonna be so easy. Um, what did I want to pull up? It was this. So, the next Extreme Super Auto Road stage should be Reps of Universe 7, because we see Extreme Super Auto Road goes up to 30 right here. 31 is Reps of Universe 7. I think this is probably going to be very difficult. Um, there are a lot of characters that have gotten released since the stage originally came out. Um, but I expect these enemies to hit so hard. So this is going to be the UI Goku Dodge Parade is what I think this is eventually going to be. Because um, I do feel like this stage could end up being pretty tough. Um, but we will see, right? Um, I am excited to get the equips though. The reps of Universe 7 EX Skill Orbs, that's going to be uh, very good. Um, and then, yeah, this is just Extreme Super Battle. Remember, we're getting a normal Super Battle and an Extreme Super Battle Road stage. Uh, I don't need this, and I don't need this either. Um, we have, this of course is the Master of Evolution, because that of course is what um, AGL Blue Vegeta is weak to. Uh, here we have a new Dragon Ball Story event is going to be dropping. Um, this is going to bring a, uh, God Goku, uh, support memory that is movies. So they're essentially saying this is the movies one. Um, that's cool. You know, the Dragon Ball stories are fine. I don't mind that. Um, and then finally there's going to be a chain battle against Fat Boo. So I think that pretty much covers everything. It's not in the Saiyan Day info here. Interesting. Um, but SCR Bardock also got his EZA today. Um, I think this guy is going to be very good. Um, if the Team Bardock category gets the same thing that the Ginyu Force just got, which is where a powerful Dokkan Fest leader and, you know, some of these combo units and stuff like that, I think this Bardock will be very good. So, let me know what you think of uh, Saiyan Day over here on JP Dokkan. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.